The first time I met Theodosia, I was reading Gore Vidal's Burr, and she had a bit scene. She wasn't an important character at all, but it was during the period when uh, Jefferson and Burr were tied. Theodosia was about to go off on her honeymoon. She was about to be married, and she said to her father, that he should grab the presidency while he still could. And uh, he shouldn't keep his promise to Jefferson. And he made some kind of joke about uh, her honeymoon or her wedding night. It was a very kind of light banter. And that scene made a really big impression on me. So that years later, I decided to read up on Theodosia herself. And having read her entire life story, including the tragedy of her death or disappearance, or whatever it was that happened to her um, after she boarded that ship, the Patriot, I decided that someday I was going to rescue her. I was going to give her a happily ever after because I thought she deserved it. Now, the first time that I met Jean Lafitte, I was reading the journal of Jean Lafitte. And the reason I was reading it was that I was looking for someone to rescue Theodosia. And at the time, my interest in Jean Lafitte was contrived. Uh, the idea of bringing them together was contrived. But as I got to know Jean Lafitte better from his own words and his own description of the world he lived in and not just the, the great deeds that he did, I saw that there was a connection. And the connection involved Texas the plans to conquer it. Uh, it involved being a filibuster. It involved being very patriotic and supporting Jefferson. And there was one person who appeared in both stories and it took me a while to figure this out because every biography that I had ever read of Theodosia mentioned a compliment paid to her by Edward Livingston, something to do with uh, being careful because her beauty might ignite the sparks uh, or cause sparks and ignite a French frigate that he was escorting her on. Now, I didn't understand what the significance of this compliment was because, frankly, I didn't know who Edward Livingston was. I never heard of him until he appeared again in the journal of Jean Lafitte. And Jean refers to him as his lawyer, Ed Livingston. It took me a while to figure out that was the same Ed, the same guy. In Theodosia's biographies, mentioning Edward Livingston was like name dropping. It would be equivalent to someone saying that someone from my period had been paid a compliment by Henry Kissinger or uh, Alexander Haig. Now, years in the future, nobody's going to remember who Henry Kissinger was. He just wasn't important enough to uh, appear in long term history. But for the short term, he was an important guy. Same thing for Al Haig. Okay, Edward Livingston was extremely important during the period when Theodosia and Jean Lafitte were alive. But um, nobody really remembers him now. Lots of things are named after him. But if you ask a school child who was Edward Livingston, you, you're going to draw a blank, and most grown-ups don't know either. Uh, as I said, 
he was mentioned in the biography as a kind of name dropping to say how important Theodosia was and how she was uh, admired by the important people of the day, uh, although it does fall flat on the ears of someone who has no idea who this guy is. But when Jean Lafitte mentions Edward Livingston, he's not name dropping. Edward Livingston was actually somebody who was involved in his business, his life, um, and he didn't really feel that Edward Livingston was more important than himself, or that Edward Livingston's contributions were more important than those of Jean Lafitte. So, one of the things that I learned after I got to know Jean Lafitte better is how very much in the same world he and Theodosia were living in. Did they ever meet? Well, I don't know. But it's entirely possible that they did, whether before she disappeared or after. I don't know. This book is a romance and it's fictional. But if you really want to understand what happened in those days, what the power struggles were that people were facing, and possibly the effect of the politics of the day on what is happening to us right now, you should read it. It isn't just fantasy. It's about connections that you haven't made yet, that I hadn't made yet until I met Theodosia and Jacques.